Within a Canvas course, the options on the left side are called the course navigation. The last option in the course navigation is settings. Within settings, notice the tabs at the top. Under the course details tab, you can customize the picture that appears on the dashboard tile for this course. Only a teacher can customize this image. The picture you choose will be visible to all students and teachers enrolled in the course. Many of the other components on the course details page are set through the sync with Infinite Campus, so you may not be able to edit them. The third tab in settings is navigation. This is where you can choose which components will appear for students in the course navigation. As a teacher, you can access every component, even if it's grayed out. Gray is simply a visual cue for teachers that that component is not visible to their students. To customize your student's course navigation, you'll want to make sure that you know what the components are and think strategically about which components your students will need. Less is more. Help your students easily navigate your course. When you're ready, you drag and drop the items you want to move. If you'd like them to be visible, leave them at the top. If you'd like them to be hidden from students, drag them to the bottom. This is the same as clicking the triple dots and choosing Disable. If you don't think you'll use a component for now, or if you aren't sure what it is, hide it. You can always come back and make it visible when you need it. Keep Lockdown Browser visible. It never actually appears in students' course navigation. Hide attendance. You take attendance in Infinite Campus, not Canvas. Hide people, unless you have a reason for your students to view all their peers enrolled in your course. Within the files component, teachers can create a folder structure. They might use that folder structure for themselves or set it up for students. Our general recommendation is that you use Canvas files and folders within them just to help you organize things like the images you upload for quizzes or the icons you use on a continual basis for visual cues. Use Canvas modules to organize your course content for your students. If you do this, you can hide the files component from student navigation. If you use modules to organize all your course content, leave modules visible. You can then hide things like assignments, discussions, and quizzes because all those components would be accessible to students inside modules. The grades component gives students a gradebook style view of their Canvas grades. If you hide the grades component, students will still be able to see their individual scores and feedback on assignments. They simply won't have that holistic gradebook view. If you choose to leave grades visible, be sure to clearly communicate to students and parents that their official grades are in Infinite Campus. Along these lines, you can leave the Student Infinite Campus Access link visible in the course navigation, both for student convenience and as a reminder. Some of the components have been provided to you for optional convenience, such as Discovery Ed, Google Drive, and the Canvas Student Guides. The Discovery Ed component, for example, enables the platform to be embedded within Canvas when students click on that component. If you choose to hide the Discovery Education component from students' course navigation, they can still get to Discovery Ed via the login website in a different tab. When you're done customizing your course navigation for students, click Save. Please remember to click Save. After saving, Open Student View to see how your course navigation appears for your students. In Student View, you may find that something you set as visible, such as discussions, is missing if you set something like discussions to be visible to students and you don't see it in your Student View, it will become visible to students once you add a discussion. Remember, you see that hot pink banner at the bottom to remind you you are in Student View. You can click around, and when you feel like that's an efficient, clean way for your kids to navigate your course, you can leave Student View by clicking the button in the lower right.